Hello and welcome to another video of Just Electric. You are watching TVS Jupiter on the screen which was a customer's favorite scooter. Customer wanted us to retro convert this scooter so that they can keep this scooter with them. This scooter was in very good condition but the engine of the scooter was completely damaged. Customer wanted us to retro convert this scooter and make it fully electric. So we started the work of full electric conversion. Here's a basic overview. How was the condition of the scooter when it came to us and what all changes are going to happen in it? Whenever a scooter comes to us we first remove the panels. We remove all the panels of the scooter so that we can remove the engine of the scooter. Along with the engine, we also remove some components like the rear wheel, silencer, carburetor. We remove all the parts of the IC engine. The chassis of the scooter was completely rusted so we re-welded it and strengthened it. We also put the battery box in the right place so that the battery can get a good strength, and the battery can be kept in its place for a long time. Now you can see that we have attached the motor, shock absorber, battery box and swing arm to the foundation of the scooter. Now we will move towards the wiring. We have placed the controller at the back of the fuel tank so that it can get a good airflow and it will also get cool. If ever we need to troubleshoot, we can easily access it by removing the rear panel. During the conversion, we have to make sure that all the wiring of the scooter is done properly because this is an electric scooter, and its servicing cannot be done everywhere. So we have to make it such that either there are no problems in it and if there are any, we can easily access them or we can troubleshoot them. Here we attach the controller and the wiring in such a way that it can be accessed easily later and it can be fixed. Now we are fitting the front panel where we are attaching the horn, light and display so that we can check the percentage of the battery and the voltage of the battery. Here the complete wiring of the scooter is done. We have also done the auxiliary battery connections of the scooter. Now we are attaching the boot. We have also given a slot for mobile charging near the boot so that you can charge your phone. Our conversion is complete and now we take out the scooter for a test ride. In the test ride, we check whether there is any issue in the scooter. How much top speed is the scooter achieving? How much range are we getting? Are there any heating issues or any structural issues? The scooter conversion is completed. We have left the console as it is, but we have added a battery indicator display there with which you can check the remaining power of the battery. During conversion, the ignition switch of the scooter is kept the same with which the scooter can be locked or unlocked. Here we give a dustproof charging socket for charging which protects the scooter from environmental issues. You get a wireless anti-theft burglar alarm with the key where you can find the scooter in the parking. You can start or stop the scooter without the key and you can turn on the burglar alarm. If we look at the back, the motor has got a very good fitting. With this motor, you get a speed of 55 to 60 km per hour in the third mode. In the first mode, you get a speed of 30 km per hour and in the second mode, you get a speed of 40 km per hour. This motor also operates in reverse mode which makes it very easy to steer the scooter if there is an inclination, or if the scooter gets stuck on the breaker. Let's open the boot of the scooter and see how it is. 
The boot stays as it is. You get the space of the boot in the full electric conversion. We also provide a USB socket where you can charge your phone, power bank or any other 5V device. We hope you liked our Jupiter Retro Conversion. If you also want to retro convert your favorite scooter you can contact us.